so earlier my impression as i mentioned is good with their cam v3 uh, like uh, for the recording as well as for the instruction thing and this is how this comes and you can also use any other attachment this is the camera so i will just take out this protective sheet from it and this is how it looks and feel these are the ratings and then um i can show with the cables this is a micro usb cable oh that's here uh, in the bottom so i think this base should be then not moving and this is their power adapter the thing is you can also use it directly with the usb but the power adapter is given so i will just plug in and see how this thing will work so i plug this in it asking for this the red button is on so um basically no see it started so i i hope like this thing is there like on the charging cable the usb cable is actually moving along with the base hmm. uh, i think that's a little problem because this can actually cause issues uh, say if the cable is not or stuck in somewhere place and then uh, it try to move uh, this can stuck and then this is the setup button uh, for the micro sd card the 32 gb one that you need to place in and this will will come here so let me just set this up uh, bring a memory card because the memory card is not supplied with this box so you have to get separately so this is a 32 new card 32 gb one and I'm just trying to put inside this. So I put in the card. So after putting in the card, I think it just gives some beep sound. And I have the YZ app on my cell phone that you need to install this one. Um, so I will say the till now is um yeah i'm just trying to add this uh let me just show you the things so say like if you have all this yz you can just click on the add button it will like to add device and you just do add device cameras and this is a yz cam pen v2 and then it will ask that uh, plug your YZ cam went to into a power outlet the light is front is phone shortly next and then press under setup under the YZ cam v2 so here is the setup button ready to connect we're saying that ready to connect so I press the button and I heard the sound no Wi-Fi password and name so I will just use and then come back so now this will just show up after entering this barcode you have to scan this barcode in front of the camera ready to connect QR code scanned please wait so once it's scanned it will ask you and then you just click next and just say connecting so you can see the light start blinking blue so it is now trying to do this cam setup completed and you can give the name so i'm not using the cam plus right now with it and this is all set so asking for me for the upgrade uh, like the firmware so I will just update the firmware and start updating it. 
so this process is uh, pretty straightforward and then all the instructions are provided you can just directly use it uh, you know by whatever the camera will tell you and um, this is nice so I will just show you once it get connected how this will scan the whole room the only thing till now which I uh, don't like that much is its uh, USB cable positioning because I think when uh, the base will move uh, the cable will also move and if cable is stuck somewhere the movement will be affected but rest of it right now it looks nice and then the camera quality and everything will come up once uh, you know the firmware is updated so I will check back in uh, in some time after the firmware is updated so here the camera uh, firmware is updated I will say done and then it start capturing things as you can see so right now it's all messy basement but um, you can see the quality and how this will look so you can move this the way you want so, so say like like uh, when you're trying to put this camera So this is the good thing that you can move in the camera but now what I see here also like if you see the micro USB cable is not moving so that's good actually it looks like it will hurdle in between but it's not and I think if you can put some base below this then it will be much better so I like this thing as well now and um, as you can see the quality and you can do big screen as well and this is a fish eye like you know the round thing because my wall is not like this but uh, i think in the settings you can do change it so you know how this thing will be working and everything so this is the setup of uh, this YZCam Pen V2 and uh, you can use like the way you want with this advanced setting how you want to do it um, you know the different things that you can use hope you like this one if you have any question regarding this cam you can ask me in the comment section or anywhere you want thank you and the other good thing i see is like the motion tracking and you can see if i'm moving my hand the camera and the tilt is also moving along with it so that is the good thing that you don't need to do so say like if i go the camera is moving as well so it's a really nice thing to have and then the pen scan so basically you can do a lot of things with the setting and you can also see with the movement like one movement is like this and two and fourth and then other movement is of this black camera thing that is going up and down so this can also go and see the movement thing it's like uh, I here you can see that is moving up and down so basically uh, my impression the initial impression is nice on this that it can record all this one 70 or 180 degree thing or at least like it can cover like most of this part and there is a local recording on the SD card and also on the cloud for some second or you can have the Camp Plus uh, subscription and to have it.